professional opinion, whoever painted this wall had some deep psychological issues. I thought you had a patient. Ah, they bailed. Do you want some help cleaning up? Yeah. Thanks. This thing doesn't tweak you out? I, there's something about it that I find really comforting. One of my psych professors told me that people tell stories to cope with their fears. All art and myths are just creations to give us some sense of control over the things we're scared of. Afraid of dying, create reincarnation. Afraid of evil, create a benevolent God who sends evildoers to hell. I think I just like that I don't have to think while I do it. <laughs> okay. I always thought you were prettiest like this. No makeup, messy hair. A little sweaty. I'm old. Stop. You're beautiful. You are. Violet won't be home for an hour. No. Okay, Ben. Come on, Ben. Ben. No. Sorry. How long, Ben? How long are you gonna punish me for? I'm not punishing you, you narcissistic asshole. I'm trying to figure out how to forgive you for having sex with one of your students. You want me to have sex with you? I can't even look at your face, Ben, without seeing the expression on it while you were pile-driving her in our bed. I screwed up! How many times do I have to say it? I'm sorry! I was hurting, too! Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did, the, did, the, did the life that was growing inside you die? And did you have to carry that around in your belly? The dead corpse of our baby's son? Did you have to go into labor and deliver our child dead? My son died, too. My baby died, too. And you buried your sorrow in some 21-year-old's pussy. You know, I could show you statistics on how many men cheat after a miscarriage. I was there for you, Viv. I was patient and understanding and caring. And I put your feelings first. My hero. You know, I don't even know how to say this without coming off like an asshole. I really don't. You know don't. what? Just go ahead. Really. Never stopped you before. You're so angry. Why don't you really tell it like it is? Six months of therapy with you apologizing and crying was bullshit. So please. Tell me how you really feel. You got a dog. Oh. I needed you, and you got a dog. Oh. It was me. You should have been curling up with a knight, not a dog. Oh, so I needed you. You needed me, so she was revenge because you needed me, because I was there for you in your time of need. Now I get it. We haven't had sex in almost a year. Yeah, you think I don't know that? October 20th. We had great sex, Viv. It was loving and sexy and personal and even a little, even a little weird. I love you. I moved across country for you. Because in all my life, the only thing I've been truly scared of is losing you, losing this family. Something horrible happened to us, and we handled it even more horribly. But this, this place is our second chance, Viv. It's our second chance. But I just, I just need to know that you want it too. What are you doing? Viv. Don't, what are you doing? Help! 